Yes, body armor testing, indeed. Today we're talking about the Bullet Safe VP3, and this is a level 3A ballistic vest, so it's good up to 44 Magnum and things like that. Stab and slash protection as well as a concealment carrier, but in that concealment carrier, there's also some built-in considerations for adjustability and modularity should you want to do some extra add-ons. We are gonna be testing this vest in today's video, but we're gonna be doing it a little bit different I'll just come right out and say it. I really hate the way content is built around body armor testing. We start with a small caliber and then we work ourselves all the way up to the max caliber rating. Like, no, we're, we're not doing that here today. So I'm gonna go get Sarah and we're gonna get started. This is Sarah. And as you can see, she's had better days. Desert Eagle, 44 Magnum. Sarah, you shouldn't have. Panel has gathered right here where it caught that round, but down here is still pretty flat, so. Again, so forward, analysis. First, we're gonna look at the 44 Magnum from the Desert Eagle, and then the 44 Magnum from the Henry Lever Gun, and then we have a second test that we're gonna do on the back panel, and we'll analyze it as well, so. Reflecting it over, we have some damage to the back mesh material, and this is to be expected. It's a fairly violent impact. So this is from the Desert Eagle, and this is from the Henry. So if we just kind of tear into this, you can see here that we have some deformation from those rounds, but this is what makes this vest a little bit special. Usually you see either ultra high molecular weight polyethylene, or you see a Kevlar weave. Well. In this instance, I believe that we have both. So on the face facing the impending projectiles, we have a weave, and then on this side, we have ultra high molecular weight polyethylene. Now, I'm not gonna definitively say that this is Kevlar, this could be some other special stuff, but it appears to be Kevlar to me. So if we get into this thing and, and break it apart a little bit farther, I think that we'll find our projectiles. A Little bit of a scene change, I decided that it would be better if we brought it inside so that uh, we could have access to more tools, as well as, you know, I was just kind of looking at the monitor and this looks really bad <laughs> glare-wise against a sun that's straight overhead. So I've got some differential lighting here that should at least attempt to make the visuals a little bit more bearable. So here we go. Four hours later. Now that I've done the surgery off screen, if we start peeling back the weave, we can see that two layers in, we have our 44 from the uh, Desert Eagle here. There you have it, 44 Magnum from the Desert Eagle. But if we go just a little bit further into what appears to be the second layer of polyethylene, we have our 44 Magnum from the Henry. Are you guys aware that we have an affiliates page that lists a whole bunch of discount codes on hot deals? Like for instance, my choice in EDC lights, PowerTac. This is their Warrior. It's basically a pocket G-Class star. So if you're looking to get over things on the holidays and check it out, link in the description box down below. Back panel, undisturbed. Your arms off. 230 grain ball, 45 ACP. Glock 21. You in that arm. As you can see here, I'll have a close up for you guys. One ragged hole with even some extra powder burn on the surface of the nylon. Last but not least, nine millimeter. 115 grain. Smash up job, lass. Smash up job. You're relieved. This is our site of impact. All three of our rounds are located right there. And if we flip it over, 
we can see that, yes, one solid hole. So let's see what it is that we find in here. Well, it looks to me like they're all right there. Yeah, all of it right there in the second layer of weave. Well, there you have it, the 44, or the 45, and the 9, and I've got these separated out, but they were sort of found <laughs> kind of like this. <laughs> the 44 went in, and then 45 kind of yawed above it and stuck itself between two pieces of weave, and then the 9 basically just hit the corner of the 44 and just splashed out. So I'm out here on my evening walk, and I'm thinking to myself, hey man, you need to go back and finish that video, you need to film an outro. And I thought, well, why on earth would I go back and set up cameras and lights when I don't have a stitch of wind? It's flat calm right now, and it's such a beautiful night outside. We're gonna film the outro right here, right now. So my final thoughts on the Bullet Safe product. I think the concept of using uh, two different materials that have independently proven themselves to be exceptional at defeating ballistic threats it turns out to be a great idea, at least from what we saw in today's video. The use of Kevlar. The thing about Kevlar is oftentimes you need lots of layers to make it effective. Otherwise, it can be kind of scissored right through. And using that weave to dissipate a lot of energy on the onset and then backing it with a material like ultra high molecular weight polyethylene, which we know in the right configuration can stop full powered rifle rounds, it turns out to work pretty well. <laughs> now, I think that the main gain here over using uh, just a Kevlar is that you gain flexibility. Oftentimes you will see those Kevlar panels and they're, they just get rigid once you have to pile them up and they get heavy. Ultra high molecular weight polyethylene is lightweight, yet still flexible. The thing is to get it to stop rifle rounds has to be very highly compressed. This thing is still fairly compressed, but it's a thin layer. So ultimately, I think what you gain is something that's very flexible and form fitting should you want to conceal it, but also grants you the right amount of protection without gaining a whole lot of weight. So if that's something that you're interested in, I think that uh, we can check the boxes on manufacturer claims. We need to get out of here. It's starting to get bitey outside. I just got done talking about the praises of tonight and how awesome it was while well, the mosquitoes are starting to get out. So we're going to get beaten feet here real quick. But there's a discount code if you guys are interested in the Bullet Safe products. I'll have it listed over the affiliates page. That'll be linked in the description box down below. I want to say special thanks to our patrons at Patreon and Subscribestar, as well as our people here at YouTube who are channel members. You guys keep the lights on and help fill in some of the gaps like 44 Magnum that I don't shoot very often. So thank you very much. And hopefully we'll see you on a future video here at the BSO Gun Channel. Also, this is my walking gun, Volkorsen Scorpion, with a Bowers can there at the end.